is that if you have a prosecutor who is ignoring crimes happening every single day in his jurisdiction, and he chooses to go back many, many years ago uh, to try to use something about po porn star hush money payments, you know, that's an example of pursuing a political agenda. Thank you. So apparently DeSantis has something to say about this whole situation between Trump and um, between Trump and Stormy Daniels and between him about to be indicted and because Trump said, look, Tuesday is going down. I don't know what to say. I wish you guys could get out there and just let them know that this is some bull sugar honey iced tea. We not we not taking it. And um but you all see what they're doing, right? You all see what they're doing. So help me do something about this. Um, I will say this. If y'all get out there and, and actually make some noise, <laughs> you know, do it in a way that won't get you arrested or make Trump look bad, it will make a difference. But I'm not asking anybody to do a daggone thing. You know what I mean? That's Trump. But guess what? Ron DeSantis got something to say, and I want to hear him say it. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hi, uh, Megan from the Florida Standard. Uh, we wanted to know what your thoughts are on the rumored Trump indictment, and if you have any role in it, um, if charges are brought on him, will you have any role in extradition to New York? Thank so you. I've seen rumors swirl. I have not seen any facts uh, yet, and so I don't know what's going to happen. But I do know this. The, the Manhattan District Attorney is a Soros-funded prosecutor. And so he, like other Soros-funded prosecutors, they weaponize their office to impose a political agenda on society at the expense of the rule of law and public safety. He has downgraded over 50% of the felonies to misdemeanors. He says he doesn't want to even have jail time for the vast, vast majority of crimes. And what we've seen in Manhattan is we've seen the, sky, the, the crime rate go up and we've seen citizens become less safe. And so you're talking about this situation with, and look, I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to, to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. I just, I can't speak to that. <laughs> but what I can speak to. And you know what? Here's the thing though. People might think that he's throwing, he's probably throwing a shot. He might be. You know, when you, somebody's calling you Ron DeSanctus, or Ron DeSanctimonious or something like that, he's probably throwing a little shot. But right now, he's choosing to take that, that, that high road, just letting y'all know the resume, just letting y'all know what's on the heart of the DA who is running this whole thing. Just, just letting y'all know. Like this guy right here, the same guy that's pressing forward about this, it has done this, 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 and this. Hopefully that don't go over your heads. But now he's about to dive into the whole Stormy Daniels thing um, strictly. And thank you so much, Heather, for, for the subs. You, you always do such wonderful things for our people. Thank you. Is that if you have a prosecutor who is ignoring crimes happening every single day in his jurisdiction, and he chooses to go back many, many years ago uh, to try to use something about porn star hush money payments, you know, that's an example of pursuing a political agenda. Thank you. That's him trying to elevate his status is what he's trying to do. That's him making a power move. He has picked, he has picked going after Trump over protecting his own citizens. Think about that. He has picked going after Trump over protecting his own citizens. And that's unfortunate. And so now he's making this big, bold move to try to get, try, he want to be the man. I want to be the face of the person that took Trump down. But why though? Be the face of the person that, that lifts God up, that protects the people, that actually does your job, that shows that you appreciate people voting you in or you appreciate the job that you have right now. How about that part? Rather than saying, nah, forget them. I'm going to, I know people have committed these crimes and stuff, but guess what? I'm going to give them less time because I, you know what I mean? They good. They good. And let them hurry up and get out so they can do more. They good. And the people that's going to be victims, they'll be all right. 
but I want to go after Trump. And weaponizing the office. And um, I think that that's fundamentally wrong. I also think it's important to point out when you're talking about these Soros-funded prosecutors, yes, they may do a high-profile politicized prosecution, uh, and that's bad, but the real victims are ordinary New Yorkers, ordinary Americans in all these different jurisdictions, that they get victimized every day because of the reckless political agenda that these Soros DAs bring to their job. They ignore crime and they empower criminals, and that hurts people. Y'all hear that, right? You ignore crime, you empower criminals, and what comes after that? You victimize the innocent. The people who are out there not doing anything wrong, guess what? They are now victimized. Hurts a lot of people every single day. The Soros district attorneys are a menace to society, and I'm just glad that I'm the only governor in the country that's actually removed one from office during my tenure. <laughs> And in terms of... Uh, I don't know what in the world's going on with this daggone uh, um, sound that they put up that goes to this original video. But guess what? Guess what? Uh, what in the world did you just now do, Heather? Um, what did Heather just do? Thank you, Heather. Thank you. I appreciate that. She just now gifted 100 subs to the, the Twitch community. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Um, shout out to Ron. Let's go, Ron. Um, our, 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 we are not involved in this, won't be involved in this. Uh, I have no interest in getting involved in some type of manufactured circus by some Soros DA, okay? He's trying to do a political spectacle. He's trying to virtue signal for his base. Uh, I've got real issues I got to deal with here in the state of Florida. We're obviously shutting down uh, CBDC, which is important. We've got so many things pending in front of the legislature. Uh, I've got to spend my time on issues that actually matter to people. Uh, I can't spend my time uh, worrying about uh, things, uh, things of that nature. So, so we're not going to be involved in it in any way. Um, I'm fighting for Floridians, and I'm fighting back against Biden. That's what I do every single day. He said he's fighting for Floridians, and I'm fighting back against Biden. One thing I will say, and I know a lot of y'all really want Trump to run, and you want him to win. And what I'm about to say has nothing to do with Trump running and nothing to do with Trump winning. But Ron DeSantis is someone that I look at as a potential leader. Why? Because he appreciates the job that he was blessed with. And he's doing a damn good job. He's taking it extremely seriously. Yes, is he making some power plays? Absolutely. That's, that's what he wanted. He's not only there to be a daggone governor. That's not in his trajectory. That's, that's not it. Not that's not saying that a governor is a low point. It's not. For some people... They, they want to be president. They want to be over this whole thing. And you never know. God might have sent him as, as a representative of him. We don't know. We really don't know. But continue to look at his record and, and, and try and look at him. Try to see the, the, the real Ron. You know what I mean? Is he Ron DeSantis or is he Ron DeSanctimonious? <laughs> Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know about that in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Ben, and now we are all the LFR family. Yeah, I got hat hair. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all. And don't forget to go to LFRfamily.com. Ask me about the Bang Bang Tea. And shout out to the person who purchased a 50, a 50 pack last night. If you go to LFRfamily.com, and you look at that 50 pack, you're going to see why this is so, this, this is so wild. So shout out to you. Not going to say your name, none of that. You are awesome. And it's on its way.